Hey crew, it's Pitt, and I'm back with the fundamentals of life. Today we're going to be talking about sound. We will be talking about how sound affects physicality. And I found a video that's going to help us explain this, but I'm going to have to play it muted so that uh, I don't get a copyright or anything. I'm not trying to get anything not monetizable on this channel. So we're going to check this out. Oh, this is eight crazy experiments with sound. And we're going to talk about it as we go through and more as we get done. But this is a 10 minute video. Let's go. All right. What they're doing here is they're striking the one and it makes the other one work. Right. Um, I really wish I could play the sound for y'all because they're using 440 hertz. Which we talked yesterday, that's 440 cycles per second. Uh, that is what most music is tuned to, despite the fact that there are more harmonious frequencies to use. <clears throat> He's showing right here, this ping pong ball is on the string uh, next to the tuning fork. The speaker is pointing in the box, and when he puts it on this particular frequency, it resonates. It didn't do it with the other frequency. But because this is a 440 tuning fork, it resonates. Now this right here is a very interesting series of experiments. This vibration generator that they can alternate the hertz on. And he's going to sprinkle this salt on here. And we're going to watch it form different shapes at different frequencies. 689 hertz. 3,607 hertz. 892 hertz. wonder why they're jumping like that. 5,782, 5,782. But you notice how the different hertz gives different shapes and different patterns to the salt. And that is purely from the vibration. Uh, sound produces vibration. And that vibration resonates with your body in the same way that it's doing with the salt. So what you listen to actually influences what you are on a molecular level. Uh, this is another interesting one that the, the what the process that's happening here is again it's a, a certain frequency that they hit in this bottle he's going to show you how he gets it right here blowing across the top of it he picks up the frequency here 119 hertz that's the sound of blowing in the bottle of a coat and then they tune the the music to that and they set up this experiment with the openings opposite of each other and then when it resonates with the proper frequency, it spins. But if you don't use the proper frequency, it does nothing. So he's going to show you. Uh, negative 129, nothing. Right? And it moves the, to negative 119. 10 hertz difference. The bottles move. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a little bit of play. One or two hertz in either direction. I don't know that they show that, but uh, these are very real principles that you can use in your own life. And we're going to talk more about that here in just a minute, but I wanted to show these. Uh, these are really, really good representations of what we're going to talk about dealing with the chakras. All right, now he's got a laser on top of rubber held in place on top of the speaker right the laser points down i'm, I'm pointing at it like y'all can see it the laser points down onto the metal surface on top of the rubber into the wall and this is the frequencies make these separate shapes right this is a single frequency this is two frequencies layered or binaural beats we're going to talk about that too but you can see different frequencies give you different combinations of sound and different combinations of patterns that actually move. Like when you hear a sound and you feel the bass in your chest, that's molecularly, molecularly moving things inside of you. It is changing your stuff. You can induce heart attacks by sound waves. You can induce strokes by sound waves. So you have to be careful with what sounds you're playing with because even some of the like the, the generator that I'm going to use today to show y'all. You, you can misuse that and uh, hurt yourself. 
Uh, so always be careful. Always do your research before experimenting with any frequencies that you're unsure about. The ones I'm going to tell you about today are all safe. You're fine with those. Uh, this is the same experiment as the laser. But what they did here is there's a water hose. And it's strapped to the front of the speaker. And as it moves, these are the patterns that it spits out the water. It's uh, very interesting. The different shapes come from the different hertz. This is negative 25 hertz. It's amazing, right? Like, that's not the water. It, it's moving in that direction. Is it? That's pretty cool. It's amazing what sound can do for us. The vibration of the world can change you. There's another one for sure that I want to make sure we get in here. So, uh, these these do illustrate what I'm talking about, though. Like this is this is it, right? All right, now we're going to deal with this water. This is another one that I wanted to deal with because water is what comprises most of us, right? About 66 percent of us, as a matter of fact. And so, the fact that it can change salt is one thing, but the fact that it changes water is another thing. Like that is a you're affecting the frequency of something else with this, right? And you're comprised of water so that the sounds that you partake of all the time are going to make a difference in how you live your life. If you're listening to depressive music, you're going to be depressed. And if you're listening to anxious music, you're going to have anxiety. And if you listen to restful music, you're going to be rested. So make the changes as necessary for those things in your life. Try not to listen to frantic music right before going to bed. And maybe you'll sleep a little bit better. Oh. This one you would pretty much have to hear. <laughs> when I can't turn on, the, we, we get the copyright straight. But we're going to go ahead. I've shown what I really needed to show you. Like the frequencies do absolutely have an influence on on you. On, uh, on physicality. The, the, the vibrations that are coming into you can make a difference in who you are fundamentally. And where we're going to bring this in now, we're going to talk about the chakras again. I told y'all yesterday we were going to be dealing with the, the musicality of the, the chakras today. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about what specific frequencies affect the different chakras in your body. Uh, we're going to start with the root, right? And the root is... Or actually, we're not. We're going to start at the top. No, no, I got it wrong. We are starting at the bottom. So this is merely existence, right? This is the base level is you merely existing. And for humans, that's going to be 432 hertz. Let's make sure I'm not blowing y'all out with that. That sound is going to affect your root chakra. Why did that get so big all of a sudden it just jumped up when I swapped let's move that back down I guess oh you know what it is okay I'm a dummy that's what it is <laughs> all right that was an open tab all right so that that's going to affect your your root chakra and when you're doing your meditations and you're working on your root chakra and you know where in your stack that you're going to get stuck in your root chakra um you can you can move your intentionality and your consciousness through these different levels. And it takes work to do that. But the first step is to recognize where you are in yours and where you're actually seeing things from. I know that sounds weird. You're like, I see you from my eyes. But your consciousness normally doesn't reside in your third eye. It normally resides around your heart. Or if you're in your more baser areas, it's a little bit lower. Like some people live in their their base chakra and that's terrible like that's a that's a horrible way to live because you're merely existing but an abusive ch a child that has been abused to the point of nothing but reflex is stuck in their root and that's signified by the color red it is a low vibrational frequency and it's 432 hertz for the humans and if you do a meditative practice that is based on 432 hertz while focusing on 
your root chakra and doing your cleansing exercises for that uh, to align the magnetics that are actually in there. I'm going to try and get into more of how would I go about aligning the magnetics, uh, but we're not getting that deep into this today. We're going to talk about the frequencies. Next up is the sacral chakra. That is this orange one right here. And that the frequency for that one is going to be 480 hertz. It, uh, there's a mathematical process that goes in, but it's a waveform. It goes up and down. And, uh, yeah. And so the, the sacral chakra is going to be uh, where you grow. That is the second form of existence. That's where you actually grow into things. That is where the plants are basically going to have just a root and their sacral. That's all they're really going to have. Uh, and so uh, to cleanse that, you're going to want to base your meditative practices using sounds that are at 480 hertz. It's going to make it easier for you to be able to to put the correct frequency in the correct place because these these frequencies affect these areas and they help to clear these particular areas. You can do these these meditative practices with headphones, but it is really a lot better if you can be in a place with stereo surround sound. Uh, preferably not too far away from you. You don't want to overpower yourself with sound, but you definitely want the sound to hit your whole body. You want it to pass through you as you're doing these meditative practices. That's why people use the bowls. That's why we have chanting. That's why we have the mantras and all of those things is to, to focus the vibration at the right key. This is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sa, La, Ti, Do. That is the basis of each of them. And so uh, we're going to look at 480 hertz for the sacral. Uh, the solar plexus chakra is going to be signified by yellow, and it is going to be 528 hertz. And so you're going to want to base your meditative practices around that. If you know where you're at, and you're stuck, and you're stuck with, oh, uh, that, that, that's going to be your critic. If you're stuck in your critic, and you can't get past beating yourself up with things, then you find out which function in the stack aligns in that spot, and then you dig in, and you figure out, okay, why am I stuck in this spot? And while you're doing that, you're going to want to be focusing with 528 hertz. That's going to keep you, uh, it's going to set the vibrational pattern that you need. Uh, the same is going to go for the rest of them. I'm going to try not to repeat the same thing over and over. So the heart chakra is going to be signified by green. And then we're going to be looking at 600 hertz. That is the right in the middle of everything. That is holding together the base and the divine. Uh, it is the existence of the humans. It is the fourth plane of existence. It's Time is the concept. And so this is where... Uh, you decide things like the solar plexus char chakra is in charge of movement. The heart is in charge of deciding, of making the decision of, to, to plan ahead or to, to do things uh, on a higher level of consciousness. The thro throat chakra is blue. Uh, this is going to be the realm of miracles and it's going to be signified by 672 hertz. Uh, and again, there's a little bit of variability between people with these. So if you do this and it doesn't quite resonate, would you play with a, a, a hertz or two above or below? Because depending on how you are physically made, you need to find the one that resonates with you. But it's going to help you clear your, your throat and you're going to be able to speak the miracles that you need into existence in a in an informed, enlightened, responsible manner so that they can be fulfilled without detriment to yourself or others. That is what clearing of your throat chakra does. It is being able to fully articulate what you want, what you need, what, and to understand what other people want and need. But it is where miracles come from. Like when you speak the need out, then God can give it back to you. Like, not that he doesn't know, but you have free will. You have to ask for things. Ask, and you shall receive. The third eye chakra. This is going to be indigo. 
Oh, and this is going to be the area of manifestation. This is actually pulling things into your life, manifesting things uh, outside of the expectation of a miracle type situation. This is, I want a better job, so you manifest that better job, and that's, that works through you being able to envision what you want and pull it into your life. Uh, and if at 720 hertz, if you base your meditative practices at 720 hertz, that's going to help you to be able to do that. You're going to be able to pull in the, the correct energy to be able to focus your thoughts in the correct manner to manifest what you need in your life. But in order to do that, you have to be cleared on all the rest of them. Like, each one of these is a step of progression, and each step of progression is required before you can actually fully use any of the other ones in the correct manner. And that's going to lead us into the crown chakra. The crown chakra is signified by violet. We have the seven colors of the rainbow, right? And so... Uh, the crown chakra is where you're going to receive divine information to you. This is the, the divine speaking to you. And uh, this is where enlightenment comes from. This is the area of enlightenment. When you get to this point in aligning all of your things, then you can receive direct revelation from the divine. Uh, it's not because it's a special requirement, but it's because it takes the discipline necessary to understand what the divine is saying to you. It's not because you say a mantra, or it's not because you meditate 30 minutes a day. It's not because you go to church three times a week. It's none of these things of themselves. It is the self-discipline that you have to make sure that you're figuring out what is wrong in your own life and fixing it, to working on it, and doing the things that are required. And if you go at 768 hertz and base your meditative practices at 768 you can do that for your crown chakra it helps to align the vibrational frequencies to the required levels and that's finally going to bring us to the restart of all things the beginning of the new pattern the end of the one octave and the beginning of the other the merkaba is signified by white and the hertz required is an exact doubling of your root chakra it is 864 hertz. Uh, I'm actually going to play that one for y'all. That's going to be here. We're going to go 864. 864. And this is the exact doubling of the, the 432. You notice it's a higher pitch. I prefer the triangle, but they have different waves. I prefer the triangle. Oh, when I did the sound, the healing sound that I did as a resource for me on the other channel, and I'm probably going to move that over to this channel, but uh, it is a combination of all eight of these together. That, that's basically what that is. It is a all full-on assault, a sandblasting of all eight chakras at the same time. And if you can intentionality through the abrasiveness of it, it is a very useful tool for getting all of them aligned using the same sound. That's all that is. Uh, and I got one more thing that I want to talk about before we wrap this one up. We're going to talk about binaural beats. This is the same, like, you can put in different frequencies and you hear it one on one side and one on the other side. And there's a whole explanation here about what it is and that sometimes it can be used to treat anxiety but that it can be harmful it can cause seizures it can cause strokes and heart attacks so you need to be careful with the frequencies that you use some of them if you put them together are actually illegal you can actually reproduce the emergency alert broadcast sound that we have here in the united states and if you broadcast that it's actually illegal it can trigger things that are unstoppable it, who knew right but if you use it responsibly and you know what you're talking like you you've done your research you can do this and if you have headphones on you're going to be able to hear this but this is two separate sounds so you got in my left ear i've got 432 hertz and my right ear i've got 864 hertz and they 
if you have them in the same thing, like if they were both coming out of the same one, then they would blend together. And because they're separate, your mind processes them differently and they work in a much more efficient manner. So the like the binaural beats meditations, this is how that works. What this is, is 432 and 864, which is the top and the bottom of the octave of the human. I've found this quite useful. Uh, I alternate the ears on occasion. I've even <laughs> played around and had two of these generators up at the same time. We're going to go ahead and stop it. I had two of these generators up at the same time, and I was listening to these reversed. Like I had 432 and 864, and I had 864 and 432 playing at the same time. And that was a little bit wild, too. Uh, but this this is a tool like I'm going to provide the link for this online tone generator in the description box down below so that you can you can do that there are a lot of meditative uh, resources available on YouTube I may do try to do one of my own I don't know like that's not really I've got a voice that's not really for relaxation and so I don't know that I'm, I'm going to be able to do that. But there are a lot of really good resources. And if you take these particular tones and you just type it, be like, I need a meditation at 432, meditation 432, blam, it'll pop up. And then you can pick one that is going to keep you calm and get you into the meditative state that you need. Because each person is individually different. Some people it's going to be rain sounds and some people it's going to be uh, cats. I don't know. Like some people, are, some people have different sounds, and so find the one that works for you, that resonates with you. None of them, in and of themselves, are going to do anything for you. What they do is allow you to to focus in the correct manner. We're going to get more into what actually meditation is and how to do it. Hopefully, without having to do a, a full-on guided meditation. I hope I brought a little bit of enlightenment and not too much confusion to a very complicated topic. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you need to know because I am here to help you understand this. I try to put this out to the best of my understanding, but I am a man. I am just one of the types, and I'm not even a really good representation of my own type. So there's that. Uh, do all the good things. If you like the content, you want to see more, give me a like, share, and a sub. Throw me a comments. Let me know that you want to see more. And uh, we'll keep going. To the crew, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me. And I am praying for you every single day. Until next time, this has been Pitt. Be blessed. I love you. Peace.